Hey guys, welcome back to my series, Make My Space Work. I'm Alexandra, and today we have another virtual makeover coming your way. This time, the entrepreneur is actually going to make over the entire space themselves, so I send all the product and the design plan, they execute it, and then we all get to see the finished space. When Nick reached out to us here at Make My Space Work, I was really drawn to his story. He's a videographer who started his own business right before COVID hit. So my task is to turn the attic in his home, which is his office right now, but you guys, look at how dark it is. My task is to turn this space into a bright, organized, and motivational space where he can walk in every single day and feel like I am ready to build this business so that when I can go out in the field, and shoot again, I feel extra productive and inspired. Okay, let's get started. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, good, good. So before we get into talking about your space and what's not working for you, I would love to hear how the past three months have been going for you since this whole pandemic? It's been really tough. It's been um, a lot of ups and downs emotionally and things like that because of uh, just, you know, the isolation and the uncertainty mostly is a big yeah. part of it, especially as an entrepreneur. I mean, entrepreneurship can be amazing, but then also in times like these can be super challenging. Now I'm home all day, every day, and I'm constantly on conference calls. So he is sort right. of in that room all day. Okay. So can you both walk me through what the room looks like now, what the layout is. So it's an oddly shaped room. It's in the attic. So it has a slanted uh, ceiling, just sort of a place where we dumped everything. For me, um, storage is a big issue. And that's a lot of cables. That's a lot of stands. Um, I've got cameras, lenses, batteries, just all these little, little odds and ends. Right now, they're just on big racks in plastic tubs, which is not a great way to keep the equipment in good shape. It's also difficult to find things and it's just unsightly. There's a lot of wires and plugging and unplugging things and charging things. And in terms of your desk, you have it in that corner. You have such a great setup, but do you like your desk there? Ideally, I would like my desk on the other side of the room, but at the same time, it's an old house. There's some odd quirks to the room. And there's a giant pipe right against that wall. If I were to put a desk there, there would be a sort of a gap unless there was some kind of custom cut and Flynn, do you have any input? Any ideas? I hate the rug. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she definitely hates the rug. When I saw the photos, the first thing I was like, okay, new rug, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I find it very dark and uh, cramped, so I would feel a little bit better if Nick had a better environment in general. I just want Nick to be a little bit more comfortable and happier. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'm gonna get started on the layout of the room and then yeah, we'll be we'll be in touch. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I'm really excited. No problem. Thank you. Us too. Bye, Bye guys. I really feel for them and I'm so excited that I get to be a part of creating a brand new office for Nick. Even though it's a struggle now, I really admire that Nick hasn't given up. The next time you guys will see me is in a couple days when I sit down to start actually planning the space and ordering the product. So see you then. If I'm being completely honest, I am feeling kind of nervous about this transformation only because it's a very interesting space and it needs a ton of organization. Now, I love organizing. I wish I could just like get into that office myself and organize it all, but Nick is gonna be transforming everything by himself, so I have to also keep that in mind. Um, but I wanted to share what I'm thinking. So in terms of layout, I'm actually thinking that we're going to take the desk out of that really dark corner and move it to the other side of the room. I really would love Chico to build something custom um, so that it wraps around the pipe and so we don't lose any space. I'm also thinking on the right side of the desk to have some shelving for Nick's printer, just somewhere for him to keep that stuff off the ground. I feel like facing the window is going to be so nice for him to look out and work during the day. I'm thinking we just ditch the curtain entirely because he won't have to worry about a glare on his computer screen. In terms of organization for all of his photo gear, I 
am looking on Pinterest right now and I saw that someone used a snowboard rack to hang tripods and I think this is such a brilliant idea. He had something similar, like a bike mount. It just held one or two tripods. I need something that's going to hold them all. And then I'm thinking I'm just going to send him tons of cabinets. I found these ones at Ikea and what I love about them is that they have so many drawers for his cables, for his batteries, and then I think we're gonna need a bigger cabinet for all of his lenses. So I found this one. It also has a nice little dip on the top, so I thought he could do a fun charging station on top of that. And then in terms of decor, I think it's going to just be picking accessories that are really bright. So I found this rug. This is from Ruggable and it's washable, so he can just toss it in the wash. And I feel like a nice big white rug is really going to brighten up this dark space. Because right now it's feeling like very dark and dingy. So goal for Nick's office, make it brighter, make it feel less crowded, organize it, which I'm feeling nervous about because he has so many cords. Let's head in to the first day of the makeover. All right, so Alexandra has sent a whole bunch of stuff to me. It's all in boxes downstairs and I'm very excited to open them up. She said the plan and now comes my least favorite part, which is to clean all the crap out of this room. One thing I think that is so important before you make over a space is to organize it and purge it before you start styling. In Nick's case, it's not so much purging, it's more really taking stock of what he has um, and getting it ready to be put in its specific place. Just on a side note, does anyone else feel like they're going to hell when they throw out Christmas cards from four years ago? All right, so I'm done cleaning up the place and now Alexandra has instructed me to remove all of the shelves and all of the hooks off the walls. Patch holes a spackle, paint the space with Chantilly Lace White. I wanted this attic to feel bright and fresh and I always say a coat of white paint just makes such a difference. All right, so I have cleared the space, patched all the holes and I have painted. So now I'm gonna call it a day. Tomorrow I'm gonna be assembling IKEA furniture, which I may or may not be excited about. Now it's day two and it's the exciting part. Nick and Celine get to unbox everything that I've got for the office. Lots of storage, a few little surprises woven in there. Let's see their reaction. Our presents, let's do it. I may have snuck a peek at this one when it arrived. It's a cable box. Um, she actually sent two of them, which yeah. I will need. Which is definitely going to help because there are cables everywhere in this room. One of the things that I'm really excited about, it's a plant. Mm -hmm. It's another living being in this room, mm -hmm. other mm -hmm. than you. But you said you wanted to put that in the living room once <gasps> the makeover is done. Oh, it's a lamp. A lamp? Wow, it's really cool. This is really cool. I love this. Chico came by and he brought us these little uh, shelves. custom made shelves. And they even have a little hole in the shelf so you can put wires through so I can put my printer on this. Even cooler was the desk he sent. And what's cool about it is that he uh, made a custom made hole so that we can actually put it around this pipe so I can have my desk on this side of the room. Can we just pause the makeover and have a moment of appreciation for Chico? As always, blew it out of the water and I really feel like in a space like this, sometimes custom furniture is the way to go because there just isn't another solution. These shelves, which are gonna hold his printer, they have holes for the cords to go through. Chico just thinks of every little detail and it's gonna be a good makeover. I'm really excited about this one. Yes. Okay, there we go. This is my new rug. It looks Great, I love the pattern. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Can you put this in our living room, maybe? No, no, it's for my office now. Yes, it's for our beautiful office. So we also have these. These are little tubes that the wires can go into so we keep them all together, don't get tangled. Also, we received this awesome chair, which is great because it's not held together with duct tape like my old one, and it's really, really comfortable and awesome. The desk chair. It was held together by duct tape. Not okay. So I made sure to get him an ergonomic chair, one that was really comfortable, but also stylish. 
Now it's time for me to do what I've been dreading to do, which is assemble the IKEA furniture. My guess it will take me three or four years. Um, just a little public service announcement. It's very important when you're assembling your dresser to not put the drawers in upside down. Um, this is the bottom side of the dresser. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, take all these drawers out and put them in the right way. Here it is, folks, in all its glory. I have three more of these pieces to build. So I know all of that furniture took Nick a while to build, but closed storage for this space is so important. Because Nick has tons of batteries and cords and gear, Having that out on display doesn't always look the neatest, and I find when you have, you know, a ton of electronics, it just automatically looks messy if they're out in the open, even if they're organized. At the end of this makeover, it should look like he threw out a bunch of stuff. All of the messiness is hidden and tucked away. So, sorry Nick that it took you so long, but also, you're gonna thank me when this is all done. This is perfect for what I need. It's got all the space I need to store my stuff. My gear, I've got these drawers down here, which are great. And yeah, just all around, a very good choice on Alexandra's part. I'd like to give special thanks to my power drill. And now I'm moving on to hanging the shelves. All right, it's time for another unboxing. What this is, my guess, is for my stands. This is enough space to store all of my stands. And it looks cool. I dig it. This will involve some measuring, and uh, we'll see how I do. It's amazing. It looks so much better than before. It's tasteful. It's elegant. And I'm going to try to get a reaction from my fiance to see what she thinks of it. Exciting. Oh, nice. Well, this works. Yeah, it's really minimal and nice. I like it. Picture frames for my Honest Ed's posters. Since college is over now, I no longer can just put bare posters on the walls. I need to put them in frames. I'm an adult now. I recognize that. Fun fact, as Nick mentioned, if you have art that's just stuck on your wall with washi tape, that can look cool. That is a tip that I've given in many of my videos. But if you're a grown adult, and you have a business, put your art in frames, and it'll look instantly gallery worthy. Be like, oh, where'd you get that cool piece of art? Is it from a gallery? Okay, <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. That's weird. <laughs> Frame your art and you'll instantly feel more grown up. Honest Ed's closed a few years ago. It was just this beautifully weird and tacky store. I used to shop at Honest Ed's for uh, when I was setting up my first apartment here. Before they closed, they had a sale for all of these old hand-painted posters. So now I just have a little bit of a piece of Honest Ed's here. I love it. Okay, not to get too cheesy here, but I love that we have kept these posters in Nick's office, and that was intentional. They have a story behind them, they have some meaning, and I feel like, you know, he can reflect on how far he's come. You know, outfitting his first apartment and now having his own office is kind of a big deal. That's what art should be. It should be a reminder of, a, you know, a time in your life, or just a way to reflect and remember something that was positive for you. So we've come to the end of day two. It's been an extremely long day. It's extremely hot in this attic and I'm extremely tired. I need to take a shower and call it a day. So now it is time for Nick to add in all those finishing touches, get organizing. Can we all just revel in the satisfaction that comes from watching him organize those drawers? Is that just me? When everything's lined up, it's just so <laughs> satisfying. I wanna give a huge shout out to Shopify for making this series happen. Shopify is the complete commerce platform to help you start, grow, and manage a business. Starting your own business can seem daunting. I totally get that. There is so much you can accomplish from your living room couch with your laptop and a great idea. You could start a print-on-demand t-shirt business, 
You could sell a service like photography. You could even share a unique skill you have in an online course or workshop. There's so many opportunities. There's so many possibilities. For a full list, click the link down below and also check out Shopify's other resources. They have so many when it comes to starting your own business from scratch and they're actually really, really useful. So I cannot wait to see this space all together. Are you guys ready? Let's jump on a call with them and get this after party started. After party. Oh my gosh. Is that a new thing? Like when we're going into the afters, it's like an after party. Okay. Hi guys. Hi there. Hi. It looks really bright in your office. <laughs> it looks so much better. It's gorgeous. Before um, I take a look at the after shots that you sent, can you walk me through what the space looked like before? Just as a refresher. <laughs> it was very dark. That was probably the best way to describe it. Cramped and unsightly. My storage was uh, just bins. Not very practical. And the world's ugliest rug ever <laughs> was located in this room. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Already it looks so good just from that angle. It looks like a completely different space. Last night I looked at the before and the after at the same angles and it's uh, it's pretty incredible. It looks incredible. You did a fantastic job. Kudos to you because honestly, you were doing all the heavy work and it looks incredible. Do you love it? I love it. It's a real room now. It's not a storage space. No, it's not a basement. It's not a garage. It's actually an office now. Can you show me um, inside the drawers? So what I did was I got my old label maker out and I labeled the drawers. You know, I have an audio drawer and a lens drawer and power cable drawer, things like that. It was a lot easier just, oh, I need that cable. Oh, it's in this drawer. I don't have to dig through a bin. Right away, I'm seeing that um, this, was, this was a really good idea. Yay, and you have enough storage. Yes, absolutely. Great, what's your favorite part? I'm gonna have to say the desk. I feel like I'm, I've got just a nice clear space now. So great. Well, thank you guys so much for being a part of this. You were just incredible to work with and you did an amazing job, so. Thank you, I mean, this was, this was amazing. I, I, I couldn't be more thankful. I am thrilled with how this makeover turned out. Thank you for joining Nick and I on this journey. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite organizational solution was that we did in this office. And make sure you subscribe because we have tons more makeovers coming your way.